5 steps to read newspaper. In this video, we shall see how to read newspaper in a productive manner. And let's start the newspaper reading session. Uh, step 1 is reading the headlines to get an overall idea about issues. If they are relevant to UPSC, we can follow up them in the editorial section. If not, just leave it there. They are in news in transition. So do not worry about them. Step 2 is regional news. In regional news, we'll come to know about few issues, processes, which, uh, you know, which they have done in a creative or um, appreciative manner. So make a note of them to use them in writing case studies. For example, I have written about Vidya Varadi of AP, uh, AP government, which was very good model of education in the lockdown. So similarly, you can make such points and add in ethics or governance syllabus. So for example, I have uh, noted down all these human safety measures that they have taken in the city. All such uh, examples I have noted down in one notebook and I'll revise it whenever I open the book. So please do check all such important uh, but useful fodder for your mains answers. You are preparing not only for prelims but also for mains. And step 3 is quickly go through national, international and business sections. Most of the news uh, will be political and uh, in world news you can cover them in editorial sections. So don't uh, worry about the world news. Just have a look at them. And this should be done within 10 or 10 to 15 minutes and uh, leave the editorial section for now and just complete the rest of the paper. Just a glance through it and come to editorials. So now what you're going to do is try to map the articles with the syllabus. If you feel that they are relevant, if there is education topic, healthcare, shipping sector, then you can mark right or wrong on such articles and then start reading. So firstly, I will read the letters to the editor sections. Here, different opinions, different views are given. So they are also important to read. And meanwhile, you... Uh, you start noting down of vocabulary and the important points, data, facts in your current affairs notes or you can have a small uh, notepad like this and you can note down in them. So I have, I have my separate notes for ethics as well as uh, current affairs data facts. So you can have uh, separate ones or a single book which you can write uh, uh, you know, which you can use for writing these facts and data. So next is the data section. So sometimes uh, there is good fodder for means answers in data section. Here uh, you can see in this particular uh, video, I was uh, drawing a graph which was talking about the number of sentences that the judiciary has pronounced and uh, the execution. So there was a relevance between both of them. I have Those were the examples that I have written there. So next is to complete all the articles which have marked right. And uh, uh, if you feel something is important, keep noting down. This is how you will improve. And uh, this is also one method that you can remember the issues well. It's not always, you know, in your mind to write means answers, right? So you never know what kind of question you'll get in the means. But whenever you see a question, at least you'll get an idea of what to write when you read the newspaper. If not, uh, we'll always be reliable on some magazine to prepare for means. And now comes the actual issue note making. As I already told about, told about this uh, analysis, I watch Rao's DNS and uh, during the analysis, I take screenshots of the topics and paste it in my OneNote notes syllabus wise. So that this becomes for, um, easy for me to go back and read those uh, articles or I even mark, highlight them to quickly do them. So the summary of this video is that you should be regular in reading newspaper and make notes either it is digital or hard copy whatever you are comfortable with and revise them regularly so guys i hope you have got something from this video 
keep working hard and goodbye for now